Good morning, VHS. This is the September 20th episode of VTV News. I'm Sean Leak, and these are your morning announcements. Donate to the Indian Outreach's pajama program and robe drive for SPARCC. Make sure the pajamas are new for adult women of all sizes. You get service hours for donations. Drop them off in room 4, 352, before October 7th. Currently seniors, you can vote right now for your homecoming court on QR codes on the bulletin boards outside. Voting will end Sunday at noon, and the court will be announced Monday morning. Don't miss out on your homecoming dance taking place on Saturday, October 5th from 7 to 10 p.m. In the VHS courtyard, the QR codes to buy tickets are on screen now. Guest approval forms can be obtained at the second floor admin suite for those who wish to bring a guest. Once approved by administration, VHS students can pay, buy tickets for the guests in person in the second floor admin suite with cash or credit card starting September 23rd. Remember, all ticket sales will conclude at 8 a.m. on Thursday, October 3rd. There will be no ticket sales at the door. The Venice DeFi Rewards Program will be on campus Wednesday, October 2nd during all three lunch periods. Follow the DeFi signs and get ready early. Print the application at defi.org or visit Admin Building 4, first floor, and pick up an application. Fill it out and get a parent's signature. It's required. Put it in your backpack and bring it to the sign-up Wednesday, October 2nd, during lunch. Math Honor Society will be offering its free tutoring services starting Monday, September 23rd. It will be held Monday through Thursday in the Media Center from 2.15 to 3 p.m. Students who need extra help in their math classes are encouraged to attend. There will also be free tutoring for other subjects at the same place and time. On September 24th, Roberts Arena will be hosting a college night from 6 to 8 p.m. The college night is open to all grades, but particularly looking for seniors, looking for a last-minute decision, and juniors who want to start narrowing their choices. Representatives from colleges and universities from all over the United States and military recruiters will help guide you down the right path. Additionally, you can gather information about financial aid, scholarships, and ask questions about admissions. Don't forget, we have a couple colleges visiting our school this month. The dates are currently on screen. You can register on school links by clicking on the top tab. Teacher permission is required to attend the college visits. And for the UF and USF presentations, you will need an admission ticket from Rotary. Rotary Futures will be hosting a junior family meeting on Wednesday, September 25th at 6 p.m. in the VPAC. Please attend to learn more about junior year tasks, college planning, Bright Futures, SAT slash ACT testing, and more. Coexistence Club is a club where you can learn about different cultures and heritages, try different foods, and help the community. The next meeting will be September 27th in Miss Murray's room, 4333, and will meet every other Friday. Attention everyone! If you're interested in joining Think Pink this school year, Think Pink is a club that raises money for the American Cancer Society and attends Relay for Life. The first meeting is September 27th. If you're interested, please see Mrs. D'Onofrio in room 4354 to grab a permission slip. Spirit Week starts on September 30th. To keep you guys prepared, we have put the themes for each day on screen now. Being on time to class. Now that's doing your best. Doing your classwork and homework. That's doing your best. Being respectful of the teachers and students. Doing your best. Not being on your phone in class. That's doing your best. Just doing your best. The State College of Florida Advanced Technology Center is hosting free technology workshops. They are open to all 9th through 12th grade students. The first workshop is happening October 9th from 6.15 to 8 p.m. for cybersecurity. The second workshop is on November 13th, also 6.15 to 8 p.m. That's for drones and robotics. In sports-related news, last Saturday our girls' golf team won the Founders Club. They're the 18-hole tournament. The girls beat Riverview by four strokes. They beat Cardinal Mooney by 24. 
Ella Gardner was the low score for the Lady Indians with the 76. The team now has a record of seven wins and two losses. This past Tuesday, they traveled to Lakewood Ranch, and they lost. However, three out of five of their players scored their personal bests for the season. Three freshmen had their varsity personal bests. Vanessa Riger shot a 41, Aubrey DeCrane a 48, and Sydney Jackson with a 53. There is a VHS Varsity Water Polo informational meeting on Monday, September 23rd, in the cafeteria. No experience is necessary. Boys and girls are welcome to attend. There is a volleyball game this Tuesday, October 1st. The theme is pink out. Six to seven thirty in the new gym. Be there, be square. Pick up permission slips on second floor admin. All boys from ninth to twelfth grade, come pick up your permission slips and play volleyball. Hey! Ten dollars to play and five dollars to attend. Make sure you be there. Hi, my name is Nicholas Deegan, and welcome back, Venice High, to your football updates. Last week we went up against Port Charlotte and saw off really strong. Within the first four minutes, Venice scored two touchdowns for a score of 14 and Charlotte 0. We ended the first quarter with a score tied at 14-14 and went into the second quarter with our offense scoring another 28 points. During the fourth quarter, Port Charlotte's offense rallied a strong drive but not enough to win the game. We ended the game with a score of 49 Venice and 41 Charlotte. Tonight is a home game at 7.30 p.m. and we're going up against Coco. An important announcement from the nurse's office. If you are going home sick or injured, you must go through the health room to be excused. Also, if the health room calls you from class, please stop at the health room before leaving. If you leave without seeing them, you will remain unexcused. But that will do it for this week's episode of VTV News. I'm Sean Leak, and politically, I'll see you next week. Because they, they can vote for me.